My name is Lori Stanley. I've been married 30 years. We have two kids. My daughter is 25, and she has a wonderful husband, and they live in Okinawa. My son is 22, and he has a beautiful wife, and my monster little grandson, he's fixing to be four in December. Well, I grew up in an Air Force family, so we moved around a lot. Um, my parents weren't really into Christianity, so me and my sister would basically look for neighbors and friends, and we would go to church with them. I would listen to them preach the Bible to me, but it didn't really hit. It, it was more like something that I needed to do in my life, but I felt good doing it. So when we went with our friends and stuff, it was something that brought joy. Just there wasn't really a relationship with God. Um, a few years ago, my family was mixed up, torn apart. My husband had a major depression and was put on some medication that basically kind of took him out of the picture. My son was going through a lot in school. And then my daughter was on her last year of high school and trying to figure out what she wanted to do next. So it all just collided. Inside, I was feeling really bad because I couldn't help my husband. I felt like I wasn't a good wife and I felt like I was a bad mom because I didn't know why my son was going one direction and, and what did I do and how do I fix this problem and I got to a point that I basically just went out one night and just got in my car and I had the keys and everything and just kind of sat there my head was telling me you just need to you need to go they'll be better off without you then you know I just started talking just you know to anybody and and I God is the one that heard what was going on and at that moment I felt like he told me you really need to get out of that car you need to go back in there because they need you. No matter what's going on, it's going to be okay. I guess that's when I really felt that he was there. I wasn't alone anymore, and I could come to him with my problems and my fears, and, and he was always there. A guy named Shane used to be my husband's boss, and my husband was telling him about what was going on in our marriage and in our life, and Shane said that, to come try North Point, it felt like a weight was lifted. It felt like we belonged here. I met Mariah and just loved her, and we loved the church. Everybody was friendly and made us feel comfortable. I was watching my husband come out of his depression. My son was still going through a lot, but I could see that he was changing for good. Well, God met me in those moments, and that's when I put my faith in Jesus. I want to thank my kids, my husband. I want to thank um, Mariah Everhart. And I want to thank Rob White, my QA manager at work, for always being there for me. Lori, I have to say that you're the embodiment of Jesus' love. With your unwavering faith and love for your friends, for your family, and especially in Jesus and your selfless act in volunteering for your community, for guest services, and helping North Point organize their ministries. I am honored that you are my best friend, and I thank you, especially you and Joey, for helping me move my dad here from out of state. And again, being honored that you asked me to be a part of, or be a witness and be a part of this special day in the steps that you're taking next. With that being said, I have a question for you. Have you placed your faith and trust in Jesus Christ? I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I bury you in the likeness of his death. And I raise you to walk in the newness of his life. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs>